Glory to God. Glory, hallelujah to God. Glory, hallelujah to God. Glory, hallelujah to God. Glory, hallelujah to God. It's best that we honor God in everything that we do. I, I say glory, hallelujah to God. Because hallelujah is the highest praise that you can possibly have. Let me tell you one thing. I 
ain't scared. Ha! I, I say, I say, I ain't scared. What about you, Toya? I, I say, I ain't scared. The enemy tries, but it's okay. I don't want him to try. I ain't scared. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I say, I ain't scared. I asked us on oh, last week during our communion. To examine ourselves. We, we need to examine ourselves and to be true to ourselves and to be true to God. See, this is January. This is still the first month of the year and we're still getting tools in January to equip us for this walk for this new year. Amen. I'm not leaving nothing to chance and I'm not leaving nothing out. Amen. I gotta make sure that we understand what's going on to make sure that we know what we're facing in this new year. Amen. I got to make sure that we don't repeat. Yes. That we repair so we won't repeat. Amen. And the, the, the name of my, my sermon is what you going to do. That's the name of this message on today. What, what you going to do. I, I want to know what you going to do and God wants to know what you going to do. Because he has set before you the way of prosperity he has set before you. A word of peace he has set before you. Victory over everything. Because yes. no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Now I said, what are we going to do? Are we going to do the same thing that we did last year? And, I, and I'm saying that because see, I know for a fact that when we came into this new year, we were still wearing some gray clothes. We were still carrying some stuff that we've been carrying for the last four or five years, pretending that we let it, let it go, pretending that we put it down, but we don't want to let it go because we think we can change the situation, amen. We can't change nothing. God said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. He, he said, if you seek me first, the kingdom of God, everything that you need, will be added unto you. He said, he said he delights for those that delight in him that he would give you, oh, hallelujah. He, he would give you the desires of your heart. He, he said, again, seek ye first. Seek him first. When I think about that seeking him first, coming into the new year, we, we get up and, and we make that commitment that we're going we gonna to win this year. We're going to get everything that God got for us this year. We, we talk to ourselves and we tell other people that this is my year. And getting the tools and an understanding you can't fly if you don't take off every weight that so easily besets you, amen. And see, I said, what are you going to do on this year different than what you did on last year, amen? God said, if you submit to me, if you commit all your ways to me, if you honor me, if you serve me, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You, you, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Well, what you going to do with, with, with the stuff that you know for a fact because you've been carrying it for a long time and it's still causing dead weight on you, it's still hurting you, it's still coming against you, it's still playing bad seeds against you, it's still trying to hold you down. He want to know what you going to do while you still carrying this stuff. See, it's like he told Lazarus, today, I want you to take off your grave clothes, baby. You can't, you can't go into the new year with me and be prosperous in the things of God, holding on to the world. You can't do that. You can't do that. And if somebody is meant for you, they're going to be for you. It, whatever you're supposed to have, when you're serving God, you're going to receive, amen. amen. You're going to receive. I, 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 don't, I, I don't care how bad it is. I don't care how weak you get. I don't care how tired you get. What hurts you today will make you strong for tomorrow, amen. amen. It'll make you strong for tomorrow. I know we said up last week, my pain made me pray and my prayer made me powerful. Understand what God is saying, amen. Understand that. Understand that. The devil meant it for bad, but God meant it for our good, amen. You got to get your ministry in full capacity developed in the midst of your pain, amen, because that's where your ministry is developed. I can stand and see the salvation of the Lord when people keep coming against me, when things don't work out the way that I want them to work out, when I don't understand what's going on because I'm seeking God first. I'm not going to wait until it happens and say, what you going to do when they come for you? I'm going to God before they come to me. I, I want to make sure that God is my shield and my fortress. I, I want to make sure that my steps are ordered by him. I want to make sure that the people that are in my life are supposed to be in my life. Amen. I want to make sure that I can do all things through Christ.
Christ that strengthens me. I'm going to seek him first. Amen. Amen. I'm going to seek him first. Amen. We come into this new year. It's going to be this and it's going to be that. And it's going to be that. And I've seen this year after year after year, even before I became a pastor. People get up and they come to church on New Year. Still not quite comprehending that they are the church, amen. But but they come to church with, with a new desire. Uh -huh. Not a new will, but a new desire. Uh -huh. to, to, to say that, that I'm going to serve God. Uh -huh. To say that this will be my year. And I, they know for a fact that when they come into the house, they know when they wake up that day that they can't do nothing without God. That they need God to make this year prosperous. They need God to show themselves strong in us. They need God to go before us. They need God. So we get up and we come. Uh-huh, we happy and we praise him. And at the beginning of the year, you know, things seem like they're going out, out good. And that's all fine and good. But, but, but let, let me come in and let me start out right. Am I going to stay right? Am I going to Stay in God. Am I going to keep coming? Am I going to keep serving? Am I going to keep paying my tithes and offerings? Am I going to keep seeking? Am I going to keep standing? Am I going to keep praying? Am I going to keep fasting? Am I going to keep holding on? Amen. To God, no matter what happens, amen. But see, so many times we get up and we come and we make the little vows and we start off strong and everybody's smiling and grinning and, and everything is going according to plan. And then we pray and, and God hear our prayers and He start to let us know that I'm with you, not against you. And I'm going to show you what I can do for you. So he started answering prayers. And then after he started answering the prayers, we start finding excuses. We start getting uninvolved. We start getting, he gets to be unimportant, amen. We no longer want to serve him wholeheartedly because he's put a crack in the door for you to peep in. He blessed you with your mate. He blessed you with your money. He blessed you with a new job. He blessed you with a little bit of joy. He blessed you with a little bit of help, hallelujah. And then we beg back. We get that new job and we get that promotion. Now what's your excuse? He done opened up the door. You done prayed that you done asked him for that job. He done gave you that job. Oh, but now I'm too tired. I can't get up. Well, I look at it like this, boo. Uh-huh. If, if Jesus can rise from you from the dead, I mean, he ain't carried your sins to the grave. Hallelujah. You ought to be able to get up and rise up out your bed to come and serve him on Sunday morning, Wednesday morning, whatever morning it is. Amen. We are without an excuse to see this is repetitious sin. It's repetitious behavior. God changed your condition. But it's up to you to change your behavior. It's up to you to strive. Uh -huh. Not not just survive, but to strive in the things and in the will of God. It's, it's up to you, not your mate, not your partner. He chose you to do the same. He's tired of us walking in repetitious sin, falling by the wayside. January ain't even gone and we falling by the wayside and I'm tired of hearing all these people talk about, well, the government shut down. I ain't gonna get my check. Well, the government shut down. Well, God ain't shut down. God ain't shut down. God ain't shut down. Can you hear me? God ain't shut down. I don't care about what man do. Man can't stop what God is doing. Amen. Oh, uh, let, let me get my income tax check. I'm going to keep on being faithful until I get my income tax check. See, I've watched this happen. I've been faithful with my tithes and my offers because I didn't have but a little bit to give. And now, as soon as I get my, my income tax check, I, I got to start bagging back a little bit. I don't, I, I well, if my check is $5,000, I'm not going to sit up and get a church on $500. I'm not going to do that. You know what? I'm going to give God what's left. I'm going to make that vow at the beginning of the year, but am I going to follow through? Like I said, are you going to continue on in the word of God? Are you going to continue on in his will? Amen. Are you going to continue to seek his faith? Amen. Are you going to continue to have an ear and hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying and doing? Are you going to remain faithful mm -hmm. to the walk, to the commission, to the call, to the will? Are you going to remain faithful? I said, what you going to do? What, what you gonna do? What, what you gonna do? See, see, I can make that commitment, but am I gonna stick to that commitment? Addictive behaviors are just as bad as addictive drugs and alcohol. 
addictive behaviors. We keep doing the same thing over and over and it's working against us. It's not working for us. And we act like we don't understand that we don't know the wiles and the tricks of the enemy because we, we walk in. We got first-hand knowledge. We done been there. We done done that. So we know how the enemy operates. We know the tools that he used because we used to serve them tools. Amen. We used to get them tools out because we were once enemies to Christ. Amen. Let us be clear about that. It ain't no way. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, I know. You know what he's doing because you used to do it. Amen. amen. You used to do it. Let us own it. Let us examine ourselves. Let us examine ourselves. Let us be true to God and be true to ourselves because when we honor God in everything that we do, we can't have nothing but victory. We can't have nothing but victory. He is the source of our supply. He is our source of joy. He is our source of peace. He is our source of love. He is our source of forgiveness. He's our source of a God of a second chance. He is our source. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let's be clear about looking to man. Man is not where your help comes from. It comes from God. Amen. Amen. It comes from God. It comes from God. You got to know who said it, what, when they said it. You got to know when the fisherman is throwing the hook out there and asking you to buy it. Asking you to buy. We got to quit. We got to quit. Can you hear me? We got to quit selling for what we want right now and giving up for what we want most. Amen. We got to quit that mess. Selling for a microwave dinner with God got a feast that he's preparing for each and every one of us. If we heed to his word, if we stand on his word, stop getting broke down, being easily offended. Stop it. Stop it. They talked about Jesus, they're going to talk about you too. Let them throw the stones at you. Let them throw it. And you take them stones and build your paradise. Build your mansion with them stones, amen. Jesus wants to call the stones that the builders rejected. Build your mansion, amen. Build your mansion. Throw me out. Cast me out to the woods if you want to. Turn your back on me. Walk away from me. Put me out there with the wolves. And I guarantee you when I return, I'm going to be leading the pack. I ain't scared no more. I, I say I ain't scared no more. I'm going to lead the pack, baby. I'm going to lead them right on in to God, right behind me. Amen. Amen. Right on in. Right on in. We act like we don't understand about standing in the midst of pressure. We stand there. If God said he chose you, if God said he's using you, that means that you got to get a testimony. you got to be tried on every end. What you going to do? Because I'm going to put it to you like this. The same God that David served is the same one I serve. The same God that Abraham served is the same one that I serve. Hey, I'm letting me be clear about this. The same God that Saul and Paul served, I serve that same one. What you going to do? Opportunity is going to always present itself. Uh-huh. Whether it's a good one or a bad one. But I can put it to you like this. When God get ready to bless you, he sent somebody to bless you. When the enemy gets ready to destroy you, he sent somebody to destroy you. You have to use wisdom and discernment to know who sent who. Who's for you and who's against you. And I decree and declare that God will expose every Judah spirit in my camp. Every Judah spirit in my camp. I'm not standing for that. I'm not standing for that. I refuse in the name of Jesus to be burned down. I refuse in the name of Jesus to give God's power to some man, a woman that's walking this earth and think that they better than me. I will not give my power, give anybody the power to sit high and look down low on me and judge me and tell me who I am and who I ain't. Just because they don't know who they are, don't mean you know who I am or who I am not a man. Who I'm not. Seek ye first. We got to read that scripture again. We, we got to read that because you know what? God ain't playing. I, I need to make sure that we understand what that's all about. I got to make sure we're going back to Matthew chapter 6. And I'm going to keep reading from the, from the Amplified Version. We, we got to make sure that we know that we know that we know that we know that God is for us and not against us. I said on last week, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I also said you choose this day whom you're going to serve. If you're going to make it through this year, you got to do it right by God. you got to submit to God. you got to honor God in everything that you do. If he can't get glory with what you're doing, then you don't even need to be doing it. You don't even need to be doing it. People can start to come against us now. Don't let the sin against you produce sin in you. See, and that's what we fall short. We want to put our mouth on everything. We want to try to stand up and, and prove that we somebody, we can do this, or, or they ain't nobody. Why? Well, why you got to do this, baby? Show your power. Don't talk about that. Don't put your mouth in nasty places. Talk about, talk about God. If you can't exalt God over every situation, don't say nothing. Don't say yes, that greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. That has to be pulled up. It has to be pulled down wherever the power goes.
comes. It comes from whatever you focus it on, baby. It comes from what, what, whatever your focus. I said, I want to know what you're going to do. I want to know what you're going to do. Matthew 6, starting at 31. Are we there? Therefore, do not worry or be anxious, saying, what are we going to have to eat? Or what are we going to have to drink? Or what are we going to have to wear? For the Gentiles, these are people that don't know who God is. They wish for and crave and diligently seek all these things. And we're supposed to be diligently seeking God, not stuff, amen. Not people, amen, but diligently seeking God. Seek these things. He said they seek these things. And your heavenly father knows well what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. Amen. Seek him. Seek God. Seek first. Aim to strive after all. All. First and foremost. The kingdom and his righteousness. His way of doing and being right. And all these things will be, all these things taken together, put together will be given to you. And besides, I don't want you to worry or be anxious about tomorrow. For tomorrow will have its own worries and anxieties of its own. Every day is sufficient. Every day. God has a plan for every day of our lives. God has a will for every day in our lives. God knows what's best. We have to stop putting anything and everything over God because God's word prevails over everything. God's word is what's all, po all possible. God's word is all power. It's, God's word is free. God never break, break promises to us. He don't break promises. He break bondages. He breaks strongholds. He breaks the enemy for us. Amen. That's what God does. He never ever breaks promises to us. If he said it, that's selfish. If he say you can do it, you can do it. If he say you don't need it, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Stick with God. And when I say that, the same God that David served is the same one we serve. You think about all the choices that David made. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the Red Sea is all piled up against you and the enemies behind you? What, what you gonna do? Well, what are you going to do when God asks you to sacrifice something that is closest and most dearest to you, just like he did Abraham? What you going to do? Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to stand? Are you going to trust? Are you going to seek? Are you going to knock and find? Hallelujah. Are you going to call on his name? Amen. Are you going to try to hide? You're going to try to hide from the temptation. You can't run from temptation. You can't run from temptation. You can put it aside. You can put it asunder. He said, submit yourself to him. And then you get the power to resist the enemy. To resist the enemy. And then he will feel that that power comes from nobody but God. We, we listen and we hear it, but what we going to do? What we going to do is a different thing. When, when the situation arises, what you going to do? Are you going to honor God in everything that you do? He is the only one that is supposed to get the glory from a blessed life. Not the best life, but a blessed life. The steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Anybody and everybody that comes into your life has a season and a reason. They have a purpose in your life. You've got to know that you know that you know what your purpose is. Amen. What your purpose is. Are you seeking God? Are you seeking God? Are you standing with God? Because God will exalt you. God will bless you. God will keep you. God will restore you. God will rebuild you. God will heal you. God will bless you with peace. God. God. We got to be like David and repent. We got to do the re re sometimes. We got to do the re re sometimes. Reset. Repeat. Repent. Restart. Uh huh. Reschedule, baby. We got to get back on the plan with God. We got to do the re re sometimes. And there ain't nothing wrong with that because I ain't too proud to beg. I ain't too proud to beg. God, when I need what I need, when I mess up, I. Yes. God. Yes. Yes. I want what I want this year. I'm not giving up on God because He ain't never gave up on me. I'm not. And that word we sung increase this morning. How bad do you want the increase? How bad? You know that he said stretch forth. And when he stretched you, he's pulling you through hell and high water. Stretch forth. He's letting you know that you can do it. Stretch forth. Stretch. Stretch increases all around you, but you got to 
have strength, you gotta reach it. You gotta reach it. You can say I'm a mile of wings this year, but if you don't unload the heavy weight, unload the dead weight, you're gonna continue to be bowed down. You're gonna continue to walk into the dead, the, the uh, country walk. You're gonna continue to repeat what you don't repay. Uh -huh. You're gonna continue to repeat what you don't repay. And if you don't confront it, ain't no way in the world you go conquer it. Can you hear me now? I say, church, can you, can you hear me now? If you don't confront it, amen, you can't conquer it. And if you don't repair it, you go repeat it. There is no doubt in my mind because I have seen it happen year after year, day after day, second after second, amen. I've seen that. I've seen that we want God to do it your way. God ain't about your way. It's about his way. Exceedingly abundant and pressed down, shaken together and running over. He can open the floodgates of heaven for you if you humble yourself. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You have to also turn from your wicked ways. You have, you have to do what you're supposed to do.